So Barry, congrats on the film, first of all. Absolutely loved it. Like, like all the stuff you do, really. But this one's a bit special. I mean, it's Chris Nolan. Yeah. So you must have been a bit excited when this one came up and you got the news like that you got the role. Yeah, man, definitely. I mean, Chris, what a man, what a filmmaker, you know, Batman and Inception and just all of these. So when I heard like he's doing it, you know, every great director does a war movie at one stage and I think Chris wanted to do a, a war movie and he definitely, yeah, he's 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 one to tell it. Like you know, I'm being from from Britain as well. Like he's he's definitely the lad to tell it. He's got he's got the trust of you know the likes of Warner Brothers and and that that they they let him create these worlds and you know and he does that. I mean, it's this is a dream for any young actor, for any actor in, in that case, like to to have a. Uh, just to have everything surrounded, like, you know, there was one stage where I couldn't see anything, everyone was behind us, a whole convoy behind us of jet skis and helicopters and, you know, always just following us, but I remember being at the front of the boat and just for a few seconds getting that, just like, wow, we're like, not feeling that I was there, but it happens, like, it does happen and that's just what he does, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. kind of pinch yourself yeah. films. Is, is, it mad, is it mad, I suppose, like, you seem so chilled out. So when you are there and like you're working with Killian Murphy, yeah. you're working with Chris Nolan, you, is this just becoming normal? Because you've worked with loads of famous yeah. people at this point. Is it just become normal now or do you still go, ah, oh, geez, wow, that's... Well, kid. that happened me the other night for Tom Hardy. Because I'm a big fan of his, like, you know. He's brilliant. Yeah, and he, he likes his fighting as well. Like, he does a lot of MMA and stuff. And so we got chatting about stuff like that. We were talking about McGregor and Mayweather, and, <laughs> you know. and uh, But yeah, that, that's the only time I got... Uh, I got a bit like starstruck. I mean, but I mean, all the other times it's just you realise that these are these are normal people and they're there to do their job and they're still you know they're so committed and no matter what age they are and they want to do it right and it's just good for a young actor to see that you know yeah. to see that hunger on on people like that like that calibre and to see that they still want to put everything into it. And, yeah. It's good, yeah. And you mentioned being a fan of McGregor and all that, and you, you box, don't you? Oh, yeah, so is, yeah. that, is that a good release when you've got all this going on, and people talking about films and all, to like, is it a good, like, clear of the head, I suppose? Yeah, or? it is, yeah. It's, I've been always been into boxing, like, you know, growing up and training and not not competing so much, but now I'm competing in September. And, uh, but, yeah, big fan of McGregor. Like, his, he's opened a lot of doors, I think, for not just the whole fighting game in the world, but everything. I mean, you know, he, he's. I, I run off confidence. I run off being confident and and off the the way of I can do what I want, anything I want to do, anything I picture, I can do it. Yeah. And he he preached that like, and he preached so well, and you know, it helped me in a way. So I'm a big fan of his, like, yeah. Dunkirk, the actual, the whole story, so yeah. true story. Did you know much about about that? Um, and what kind of research, I suppose, did you do with? You Dunkirk, know? no. I was I was calling it Drunkirk, you know, cause <laughs> having a few points with the lads and all. I was like, oh, I'm in Drunkirk now, you know. But uh, no, I didn't know a lot about it, man. I didn't. I mean, I didn't learn it in school. Did you learn it in school? No. No, no. So I I stayed naive to it, just like George the character, and uh, yeah. You know, a lot of character work was like with me clothes off. Yeah. Just me running around the room with me clothes off. It was weird. Like I was like I need to get into the character headspace, run around with my clothes off and see what happens and yeah. Of course you worked with Colin Farrell, you're over in Cannes with him. Yeah. Um I hope you weren't running around with your clothes off. But did you have good, did you have good crack with Colin? I believe you took Colin, the ball yeah, over there. Colin Colin's a lad, isn't he? He's he's a genuine lad and he he really looked out for me. Him and Killian, you know. Two two family men, two really strong actors and just you know looking at them growing up and now getting to now mates with them like now getting to work with them now getting to have a laugh off them and yeah it's just it's unreal man. and the director of the movie you did with them i believe he gave you a camera at the end of a photography yeah yeah movie. he gave me a film camera didn't he and i bring that everywhere with me and i hadn't got a clue what if, how to even load a film like and yeah. and now i'm taking pictures and i'm you know because he all and colin gave me a camera i walked away with two cameras a digital and a film but i always like I learned how to like set up shots and all, like you know, and always he'd see that and he'd uh, he got yeah they they went and got me a camera and now I bring it everywhere. Yeah, so yeah. Learn things as you go. Listen, congratulations Thanks, on this movie, absolutely Thanks, brilliant, man. and um, I look forward to the next. Everything you Thanks, do gets man. better and better. FM one hundred and four Dublin's hit music station.